it's got blood on it. See? Right there. I stabbed myself. Well, hello there. Well, we just got supper out of the way. I mean, breakfast. Hold on a minute. There, that's better. Yeah, like I said, we just got done eating breakfast. It is really early in the morning. It is not in the evening. I did not forget to start the video this morning other than push record on a bunch of stuff we did. So just remember, when you see that sun right there, that is a sunrise, not a sunset. Because I am a responsible YouTuber and I always remember to start my video. Well, on today's agenda, as if we don't know what it is because we don't know how today's going to go. But on today's agenda, we're going to go get it reloaded because we got unloaded this morning. Right now, we just got unloaded because it's morning, remember. So we're going to go get reloaded and then we're going to start heading for Council Bluffs, Iowa. Our reload is in Rainbow City. Alabama. Let's just pretend that this is morning. Yeah, all right, this is morning. All right, this morning we're gonna go through Atlanta. I don't really like Atlanta much. A lot of traffic, a lot, a lot of traffic. So many people live down here. It is insane. It is beautiful country. You're going to see beautiful roads, beautiful scenery. I'm just guessing you are. But there's just too many people living down here. Other than that, I don't know really what I'm going to talk about now because I've already not talked about enough throughout the day. I mean, throughout this morning. I mean, ah, oh, crap, now I'm confusing myself. All right, well, I did cut myself today. That's right, I'm now a cutter. Yeah, no. The shirt I had on a second ago, this one, yeah, I had to change shirts. It's got blood on it. See? Right there. I stabbed myself. You want to know how I stabbed myself? It was really quite easy. I used to be a Boy Scout, Cub Scout, Cub Master with a local town I live in with the Cub, with the cub Scouts. And I taught Troy and I taught 20 some other little boys how to use pocket knives. Unfortunately, I didn't teach myself how to use a pocket knife because I'm cutting, you know, zip, 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 zip. I'm cutting a couple zip ties that were holding my load locks because this load that's in the trailer right now, that's not in the trailer right now because we haven't loaded it yet, but the trailer load we're going to put in this trailer next requires two load locks. I zip tie my load locks and bungee cord them to my frame and in turn I ended up cutting myself and I'm cutting and I'm cutting and I'm cutting and your next thing you know while I'm cutting boom the knife slipped and I stabbed myself in my stomach I have a lot of padding there so I don't think it hurt any internal organs it tickled a little bit I'd show you but it's really gross to look at so I'm not going to show you but realistically I probably could have put one stitch in it maybe two stitches so I cleaned it up really good, and there's a good chance it might see some super glue tomorrow if it's not infected, but we will see. All right, I'm really confused right now if it's morning or if it's afternoon. I cannot remember what I told you at this point, and I've changed my shirt like five times. So I'm gonna wrap this up. We're gonna get our morning started, and we're gonna go through Atlanta. My prediction is it's not going to be pleasant.
Great Atlanta. What you guys think of that? I know I'm not a big fan of it. it. Took us two and a half hours to get through Atlanta by itself. Isn't that crazy? Like I said yesterday in yesterday's video, you all have some beautiful country over here in the eastern side of America. But how in the world do you put up with that many people? Right now we're in Waco, where are we? Waco, Georgia. We're gonna swing in here, grab some fuel, get the tanks topped off, probably top the reefer tanks off while we're here. And uh, then we're gonna go grab our reload. Our reload is in Gadsden, Alabama. I guess you could call it uh, Rainbow City, Alabama. Not too sure what we're going to be hauling, but that load's going to be going back to Council Bluffs, Iowa. So as soon as I know more, I will let you guys know more. Other than that, I'll be back with you in a little bit.
what are we on? I think we're on week number four of bringing passengers with me. Yeah, I think it's been four weeks since I've been by myself and first last there. Whew. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. I'm not freaking out. I'm not going nuts. What? Hi. I can't get away from them. I just want some quiet, some peace. And they just follow me everywhere. See, he's back there even. Unfortunately for him, he's bouncing off the wall. It's foggy. I mean, I don't know if the camera can catch it. See? It's foggy. The highways are foggy. I'm tired. I didn't sleep the best last night. So we're parked probably about 30, 40 miles to the west. Yes. What? We're parked 30, 40 miles to the east of Paducah, Kentucky. This is where we're going to camp out tonight. This load delivers. There's something going on in the hall, in the high interstate. Is it interstate or four lane highway? That's interstate 24. I think a truck broke down and there's pickups fixing fix it. Yeah. Heading home. I, I can't even concentrate. I, four weeks. Four weeks. All right, I'm gonna let him go ahead and wrap this video up. Okay. Hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy. And what? <laughs> guys, don't forget if you like the video, like it, and uh, go ahead and subscribe to it. You guys stay healthy and just say it. Happy. Now you got me all screwed up. Okay. Now let me do it. Now you guys stay safe. Slash, slash. Okay. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy. Bye. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye. What was that? I did the thing that Houston did. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> Bye.